Hey guys, it's Nelson here, back with another video. Today we're going to be go going over some of the stats I had when I applied to universities here in Canada. And with these marks, I was able to get into all the programs I wanted to, such as Waterloo Engineering, University of Toronto Engineering, Queen's Commerce, and Western Ivy. So make sure to stay tuned and check those out. If you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do that right now. You can subscribe down below and liking as well. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. So, going into marks when applying to Ontario universities. Um, it basically goes through OUAC, which is the Ontario Universities Application Center, where they send all your high school marks and universities look at your top six based on the prerequisites that they have. For example, when I applied to engineering at U of T in Waterloo, the prerequisites were grade 12 English, there was physics, chemistry, uh, two maths, and one alternative course. So when universities look at that, they will take a look at your prerequisite courses and then for the optionals, they'll just put in the highest marks you have in grade 12 that are university or college level depending on what you're applying to. So that's how it worked out in the end. For other programs such as Western Ivy and Queen's Commerce, I believe it's just grade 12 English, two grade 12 maths, and then three optional courses. Just your three highest marks after that. For me, I didn't really care too much about my marks. I focus more on my extracurriculars and as you'll see when I talk about my grade 11 marks, especially in second semester, um, I sacrifice some of those for my extracurricular activities. I always believed that it was more important to do something that was impactful and meaningful and something that you actually care about a lot rather than to get one or two extra points in a course because it's just not worth it to sort of sacrifice a lot of time to put in that one or two extra percentage point compared to that time you could put to helping others or doing something that really makes um, the community better or makes your school a better place as well. I would recommend doing that if your marks are relatively okay because universities, they also look at your extracurriculars, which I'll make a video for that in the near future. A lot of times they want to see who you are outside of just the academic field. Of course, it's great to have great marks and a lot of programs need really high marks for you to get into, but those extracurriculars are something that really set you apart, where you can actually distinguish yourself from a hundred other people who have the same mark as you. So going into the marks, because I applied early, which means I applied in December for places such as Queen's Commerce and University of Toronto Engineering, they didn't have some of the marks they needed for my prerequisites, so they looked at my grade 11 marks. So for example, I am taking grade 12 chemistry now in second semester in grade 12. So they had to look at my grade 11 chemistry mark to see how my chemistry performance will uphold throughout the time. So if you ever applied early, then you actually have to sort of consider your grade 11 marks and see if they're okay or not. So going into my marks, um, grade 11 first semester I had, and I'll, I'll have the marks somewhere here or there. Uh, we'll have it there. So grade 11, I had grade 12 law. I had Oh yeah, I had Calculus BC, there was Chemistry, Grade 11 Chemistry, and I had uh, Grade 12 Accounting. So those are my four courses. I believe in Grade 12 Law, I had a 97. Chemistry, I had a 95. Calculus BC, I had a 95. And in Grade 12 Accounting, I had a 96. Those were my first semester Grade 11 marks, so the Calculus mark actually was a prerequisite for pretty much every program that I applied to. Grade 11 second semester, I had physics, I had biology, I had English, and I had guitar. In physics and biology, I had a 92. In English, I had a 94. And in guitar, I had a 95. This was the semester where I focused very heavily on my extracurriculars. I felt that it was very important to get those out there. For example, this was a semester where I organized our school's walkout for over 1,500 students. This was a semester where my partner and I grinded really hard to come third place internationally for DECA. And it was a semester where I also worked my butt off on a campaign to become student council president. Uh, so those are going to be some things I talk about in my extracurricular video later on. So make sure you subscribe so that you could get notification of when that comes out. 
grade 12 first semester, I had AP Physics C, I had grade 12 World History, I had, I had English, and I had, what was the last course? Not chemistry. There was something else. Oh yeah, data management. That was the last course I had. AP Physics C, I had a 99. English, I had a 91. World History, I had a 94, I think. And data management, I had 97. So those were my marks first semester. As you can tell, some of them prerequisites for some of the programs I needed, such as Chemistry 12, was not there. So they looked at my grade 11 chemistry. For a second semester, which we are in right now, I'm taking Chemistry, Linear Algebra, and Computer Science. So those marks, I don't have a clear cut answer as to what those are right now. So probably can't share that with you because I don't even know what they are. But I've already got substances to all the programs I want. So as I stated before, these universities, they look at your grade 11 marks, especially if you get an offer earlier in the year. So if you want to make sure that you have a great time in second semester in grade 12, be full out senioritis, just chilling out. You need to make sure that your grade 11 marks are decent enough for them to say, okay, this person will do okay in grade 12 with the same courses, usually, hopefully, so that you can have a really relaxing break. Or else your substances will have to come out much later and you have to work all the way till midterms in second semester in grade 12, which is not ideal. I don't think that's a great idea. So make sure to get those marks up. But at the end of the day, marks aren't everything. As I'll talk about in my extracurriculars video later on, those are also super, super important. Make sure that you have strong extracurriculars if your academics aren't as great. If, are, if your academics are great, then make sure to spend some time to put those into your extracurriculars, things that you love, things that you're passionate about, so that you can actually distinguish yourself amongst a lot of people. That concludes the video. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Also, like and subscribe, and we'll have lots of videos coming up about the university process here in Ontario.